Alright, so you watched part one, you got the game, it looks like this, and you're probably wondering why is there only two characters here to play with. So let me tell you how to get more characters. So first off, you can close the game, and we're going to go to Google, and just search up Mugen Archive, or you can go to MuginArchive.com, and let's click on this. Mugen Archive. This is where you can get the characters, the stages, all that good stuff. Alright, so I would make an account so you can download the content. Alright, so log in and then go here to Downloads. All right, so this is where you find all the downloadable content, stages, and whatnot that you can install into your game. So let's click on the characters category. All right, so now it breaks down the characters into subcategories. For instance, Capcom has its section for Street Fighter characters, Mega Man, and Capcom related characters. We have heroes such as manga and comic TV heroes. So you have Dragon Ball Z, Pokemon, Digimon, all that stuff, and so forth. So let's go ahead and download a Dragon Ball Z character. So click on Dragon Ball Z. It'll break it down into further subcategories in the Dragon Ball Z universe. So let's go for uh, Goku. You can either go through these characters or click on a subcategory or go through like 11 pages of different categories, which is all the subcategories together. So let's go for Goku Super Saiyan 3. All right, so this is Goku's page, and each character is different. It's created by a different uh, person, so you can have a Goku that's completely different from another Goku with the same name. And you can check down here, see reviews of this Goku, see if it's worth downloading. Um, this one has a video here. Some of them have videos you can watch to see how the character plays. So we're going to go ahead and download this Goku. And then just save it wherever you like. And it will be downloaded as a RAR file. So this is why you would need the RAR from the previous video. So you can open it and extract the packaged file. All right, so once it's downloaded, locate the file. Let's close the browser. And we're going to now go into our Mugen folder. So this is the Mugen folder, which is where the game is and everything. And this is where I downloaded Goku. So what I'll do is double click the Goku folder drag and drop the folder into my Mugen folder. Okay. Now we're within Mugen. So this is the Goku file here. This contains Goku's character. Now what we'll do is go into the characters folder within the game. This is where the two characters are that we have in the game. Okay, so let's put Goku's folder into the characters folder. So there we have it. Now we have three characters in the game. But now we have one more step. We have to go into the data, locate select.def, and this is where you will 
input Goku in the game. So if you go down to look for this here, this is where the two characters are in the game. And you'll see insert your characters below. All right, so what we'll have to do is type in type in the Goku folder exactly how it looks when you downloaded it. So it's called SSJ3 Sun Goku. So type in capital SSJ3 Sun Goku exactly how you see it in the folder. Now save it. Close the notepad. And Go back, let's start the game. So everything looks the same. Let's go into arcade mode, and now you'll see a third character here. Son Goku. And there you go. Fully playable. First character. There you go.